Module three. It's my life. This is how I live, and this is what I do. Discuss. What's your daily routine like? Daily means every day. Routine means something that you do almost every day. What's it like? Tell us about it. Tell us about the things that you do every day. How busy are you? Busy. Busy means you don't have free time. How busy means are you always busy or maybe sometimes busy, sometimes not. To answer, in the morning, this is my daily routine. I go to school. I finish my homework in the afternoon. Then I hang out. I spend time out with my friends or enjoy playing video games. I'm usually, most of the times, not very busy. This answers this. How busy are you? I'm not very busy. What do you do in your free time? In your free time. Free time when you are not busy. What do you do? Sometimes I read or practice my favorite sport, football. Do you help out at home? Do you clean, help your mother do something at home? Yes, I tidy up my room. Tidy up means clean up the mess, arrange everything in my room. 3a, day in, day out. This means repeated every day, it happens every day. You can say, I go to school day in, day out. It is repeated every day. Listen and repeat. Get up. Have a shower. Have a shower. Brush my teeth. Get dressed. Get dressed. Go to school. Have breakfast. Lunch. Dinner. Breakfast, the first meal of the day. Lunch, the middle. Dinner, the last meal of the day. Get home. Do homework. Go to bed. Now we all do these things every day. So they are daily routine. Daily means every day. Routine, something that happens every day. And I want you to look at the first word here. They all are verbs. In green we have verbs. Now, there is something that I want to do with you. I took all these verbs and I put them here. All the verbs. And I took all the nouns and prepositions and the rest of the words and I put them on the right. I will show you a picture like this. I want you to use one of the verbs with one of the words from here. Get up. I want you to say the word before I say it. Go to bed. Get home. Go to school. Get dressed. Have breakfast, lunch or dinner. Have a shower. Brush my teeth. Do my homework. Two. Read. Look at the pictures and the title. This is the title of the text. What do you think, in your opinion, the text is about what is the topic of the text? Let's read.
Tony Turner. This is the boy's name. A young Picasso. Picasso is a famous painter, famous artist from Spain. He lived long time ago. So I think the text is about a boy who is an artist. This boy is an artist, a painter. Tony Turner isn't a normal schoolboy. I want you to read with me. Normal, just like everyone else. Schoolboy, student. He loves art and he is a very good artist. On weekdays, in Saudi Arabia, weekdays are from Sunday to Thursday. He gets up at 6 o'clock and paints pictures. In the morning, after he gets up, he paints. At 7.30, he has a shower. Notice that we have has. I say I have a shower. He has a shower. And has, he has his breakfast. Then he goes to school. Art is his favorite subject, of course. He gets home at 4.30 every day and does his homework. In the evenings, after dinner, he paints again. At the weekend, weekend is the opposite of weekdays. In Saudi Arabia, the weekend is Friday and Saturday. It is different. It's not the same. I visit galleries. Galleries are places where you can see works of art. I watch TV or make pictures and designs on my computer. Designs on the computer like drawings on the computer. His art teacher says, He's amazing. He's very good. He's even got paintings in the local art gallery. Paintings. These are paintings. You know the meaning of he has got paintings. What about even? Even means you are surprised by something. So, this boy is young. He's not old, but he's even got paintings in the local art gallery. Local means it is in the same city or town where you live. And you know what art gallery is? One gallery, two, three, four galleries. Gallery, galleries. Here are the new words from the reading, in case you need them. Now write T for true or F for false. Tony gets up at 7.30 every day. Is that right? No. He gets up at 6 o'clock. Tony's favorite subject is art. Art is his favorite subject. Tony paints in the morning and in the evening. After he gets up, he paints. And in the evenings, he paints again. True. Tony goes to galleries on weekdays. No. Only at weekends. It's different, he visits galleries. Tony's teacher likes his paintings. Correct. He says that he is amazing and he's got paintings in the local art gallery. 3. Grammar. Present simple. Affirmative. What is that? We use present simple for habits daily routine or actions things that happen every day regularly like every day every week they always happen like what like when you say i get up at six o'clock every day this is present simple get is a verb look at the verb get now this is the boy's sister. She says, my brother gets up. Wow. 
Interesting, we have S here. Why? My brother gets up. We do this if the subject is he, she, or it. We say he gets up, she gets up, it gets up. But we say I get up, you get up, we get up, they get up. This is not the plural S, not like one pen, two pens, no, this is different, this is present simple. We do this with he, she, and it. And look, here we have in the morning, and here we have at, at, in. We use at with specific time, like six o'clock. 10 o'clock, 3 o'clock, half past 1, or noon. You know that noon means 12 p.m. Midday also means 12 p.m. Night, midnight, 12 a.m. Also, we use at with the weekend. At the weekend, I visit art galleries. However, in American English, they don't use at, they use on in America. They say on the weekend. In Britain, they say at the weekend. In is used with morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I go to school on weekdays. This time we have on, not in, not at. We use on. With weekdays, with Monday, I go to school on Monday, on Tuesday, on Sunday morning, on Sunday evening, on Sunday afternoon. Okay? Now spelling. We say I get up, but he, he gets up, right? We say, I brush, he brushes, we add ES, not just S. Why? Because the word brush is ending in SH. If it's ending in SH, CH, XO, or SS, we add ES. Study, we say, he studies, we change Y into I, but we say, he plays without changing the Y. Why? Because we have A. A is a vowel. Vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. If you have this before the Y, you don't change Y into I. I have, he has. I have got, he has got, right? Now complete with the present simple of the verbs in brackets. Salman and Amir. Brush or brushes? We have two boys. This is not he. This is they. They brush their teeth every morning and evening. My mom, she, my mom, gets up at 7 o'clock every day. Alan. He does his homework in the afternoons. I play computer games at the weekend. My friend, one friend, only one, could be he, could be she, watches TV after dinner, and he or she goes to bed. ES, ES, ES. At midnight. 4. Pronunciation. Today we have two sounds. We have the ink sound. What you see here are not letters. This is a sound. This is ink, like in think, ink. This is ng, like thing, thing, ng. If you hear ink, check this box like think, ink. If you hear ng, 
like thing. Check this box. Now listen. B. Say the words below. In which category do they belong? Listen and check your answers. Ring. Bank. Rink. Sing. Bang. Sink. Now listen again and check your answers. Ring. Bank. Rink. Sing. Bang. Sink. Five. Speak. Talk in pairs with a classmate about your daily routine, what you do every day. I get up at 7.30. What about you? What about you means tell me about yourself. What time do you get up? My sister gets up at 6 and has she has a shower but I get up at 7 I do my homework after I get home from school what about you my sister also does it after she gets back home from school but I do it before I go to bed I go to bed at 9 p.m. on weekdays, but at the weekend, I go to bed at 10. What about you? My sister goes to bed at 9 p.m. every night, but I go to bed at 9.30. Write. Write a few sentences about your daily routine and about a friend's daily routine. This is my daily routine, and this is my friend's daily routine. Get up, brush teeth, have breakfast, go to school. I get up at 6.30 or half past 6. She gets up at 6. I brush my teeth at quarter to 7. She brushes her teeth at quarter past six. I have my breakfast at seven. She has her breakfast at half past six. I go to school at quarter past seven. She goes to school at quarter to seven. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Until then, thank you and goodbye.